The instant rise of Sam Walker in 2021 was one to behold. Where most young prodigies fall amongst the expectations, we saw an 18-year-old jump onto the scene and absolutely tear up the NRL. With a unique and instinctive style of play, Walker was a breath of fresh air throughout 2021, and in this video we'll be taking a deep dive into the story of Sam Walker and how the Brisbane Broncos let him slip. Born on the 16th of June 2002 in Leeds, West Yorkshire, in England, Sam Walker is the son of Ben Walker, a Premiership winner with the Brisbane Broncos who made six State of Origin appearances for Queensland. Sam would spend one year in England whilst his dad played in the Super League for the Leeds Rhinos, before moving back to Australia. His rugby league heritage spans much further back than even his father. It traces back to even before World War II, with his great-grandfather who played rugby league in the country town of Dolby. His son and Sam's grandfather, Gary Walker, would play under supercoach Wayne Bennett for the Brisbane Brothers, and would pass his knowledge down to his four sons, with three of them making the NRL. Sam's dad, Ben, and his two uncles, Shane and Chris, would collectively play 436 first grade games, with 222 of those under supercoach Wayne Bennett. With footy surrounding Sam's life, it was almost inevitable that he would want to become a professional rugby league player. Sam's motor skills from a young age are described as outstanding, with his ability to read the game clear from even a young age. Sam Walker would be raised in Ipswich, Queensland, where he played his junior rugby league for the North Ipswich Tigers. Walker would sign with the Brisbane Broncos at just 12 years of age, looking to follow the footsteps of his father and uncles. At just 13, Sam was already training in the Intra Super Cup with the Ipswich Jets. Whilst being signed to the Broncos, Walker played his second sport, which was Rugby Union, for Ipswich Grammar, where he showed his uncanny ball skills and awareness even in Rugby Union, with his standout performance being a 5 try and 3 try assist display in the final round of the GPS comp. His Rugby Union highlight reel would amass over 65,000 views on YouTube, and it was now that the clubs started to circle. At 16, whilst playing for the Ipswich Jets in the Malmeninga Cup, he was receiving offers from Canterbury South Sydney, Gold Coast, North Queensland, Super Rugby's Queensland Reds, and Rugby Australia. It was the Sydney Roosters and Brisbane Broncos, though, who remained at the top of Sam Walker's list. Growing up as a kid, Walker was a die-hard Sydney Roosters fan, whilst the Brisbane Broncos had, of course, been the club his father and uncles played for. The Roosters would fly Walker's family out to Sydney in 2019, he was greeted by both Trent Robinson and Luke Keary, who showed him around the Roosters' facilities. Keary would take Walker to a nearby golf course before going through some game footage from the previous night's thrashing of the Broncos at a Coogee Cafe. Robbo and Keary convinced Walker that they would allow him to play his natural game with the Roosters and allow him to develop at his own pace. Both Keary and Robinson left that meeting enamoured by Walker's questions and use of footy language that was so comprehensive most other teenagers would not even understand it. Sam walked away from his trip at the Roosters quite impressed, but would still have a final contract negotiation with the Brisbane Broncos. The Broncos had already offered a preliminary offer earlier in the year to secure Walker, but were rejected by the Walker camp, with this being their final opportunity to negotiate with Sam Walker. Broncos coach at the time, Anthony Seabold, would free time in his calendar mid-season to meet with Walker. Ipswich Grammar would move exams to allow Walker to meet with Seabold before an issue emerged. Broncos management would advise both of Sam's parents, Kylie and Ben, who as before mentioned played 72 times for the Broncos to not attend the meeting. This weird request was off-putting for Sam at the time, who was only 16 and still without a car or driver's license to meet up with the Broncos. It was possibly a decision made by the Broncos board to try and pressure Walker into signing a deal. A $60 Uber was organised to transport Walker from Ipswich to Brisbane, and although an awkward start, Walker remained positive as this was the club his father loved and the one he spent time at as a junior. The hour-long meeting would conclude and Sam would walk away with confusion, as he felt the meeting was rushed and was unsure of what the Broncos' DNA was and what they truly stood for. In the Uber back home, Sam would phone his dad telling him that he would be signing with the Roosters. The opportunity to work under Trent Robinson was what really enticed Walker, with the Broncos having to watch on as they had let Australia's most sought-after playmaker slip through their fingertips, something that may haunt them for the next decade. Walker would become the richest 16-year-old in Australian sport, signing a rookie deal worth $300,000 over two seasons. Walker would feature for the under-18 Queensland Maroons side and Australian schoolboys team in 2019, with his Australian performance particularly impressive. With three try assists and a try, he absolutely dominated the junior Kiwis, which only increased his hype coming into his first year with the Sydney Roosters in 2020. Now time for an ad from our friends at Manscaped. Cupid works hard in February, but our friends at Manscaped are working harder than ever to ensure our Valentine's Day is one to remember. 
Don't turn this day of romance into Independence Day this year and get control with the Performance Package 4.0, which includes their signature Lawnmower 4.0. The Performance Package 4.0 will leave you with more dating app notifications than Toby Rudolph has. Maybe not, that's one handsome footy player. But this lovely bundle does come equipped with the best tools needed when freshening up for a night out on the town. Inside the Performance Package 4.0 you'll find the signature Lawnmower 4.0. This electric trimmer is designed to trim hair on loose skin. The advanced skin safe technology reduces cuts and nicks on your delicate nuts. It also comes equipped with a 4000K LED spotlight that's bright enough to shine a light to your true love this year. Make sure you are covered this Valentine's Day. Get yourself the gift that you and your date will both appreciate. If you purchase now, you can get 20% off and free shipping with the code AlphaKai at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use code AlphaKai. Help tame that love jungle you have in your pants with Manscaped. Now let's get back into the video. With the 2020 NRL season ravaged by COVID-19, Walker was unable to participate in either the New South Wales Cup or the Jersey flag competitions. With the Roosters not planning to rush Walker into the side either, he would not play a competitive game for the entirety of the season. He was included in the extended 21-man lineup against the West Tigers in round 15, but was omitted prior to kickoff. It would be February of 2021 when he would finally get to put on a Roosters jumper in a pre-season match against the Canberra Raiders, where he would score a try with his performance described by his teammate Angus Crichton as classy. Walker would begin his 2021 season playing for the North Sydney Bears, the Roosters feeder club, and he showed his class in the New South Wales Cup with his excellent vision, throwing cutout and drop-off passes, setting up his outside men with ease with a total of three try assists. It was clear Sam was doing everything in his power to feature in the first grade, and his opportunity would come in round four, with both Luke Curie and Lachlan Lamb falling to serious injuries. Sam was called up to start at halfback at just 18 years of age. Walker's preparation for his debut game wasn't great, as he had hurt his AC joint in the New South Wales Cup tackling, which he had previously gotten surgery on two years prior. He was determined on debuting though, and would receive painkiller injections. His debut was incredibly solid, setting up a try, scoring a conversion, and he held his own in defence. He would have multiple standout performances over his first season, leading a comeback against the Sharks a week after his debut, which was particularly special. With his side down 4-18, he would score a try and provided three try assists, with two of them absolute pearlers. His game against the Knights in Round 8, where he would have four try assists and a try, was another special performance. He showed his clutch gene in round 14 against the Gold Coast Titans and again in week 1 of the finals, sinking game-winning field goals all whilst being one of the youngest players in the entire NRL. He had 10 try assists in his first 5 games and had already taken over the duties as the backup goal kicker. Trent Robinson allowed for Walker to play his own way, which is with his head up, reacting to defensive errors and gaps in the defensive line. His instinctive off-the-cuff style was a joy to watch which was taught to him at a young age at the Ipswich Jets with his uncles as he was told to play what was in front of him. At times, his style of play got him into trouble, or was strange like his decision to run 90 metres backwards to ensure a win against the Bulldogs. The thing is, that's just how he plays. It's raw and it's different, and it's what made him so successful at such a young age. Walker finished the 2021 season in the top 10 in try assists with 19. He led the league in field goals and ultimately went from a fourth string option to a key piece to the future of the Sydney Roosters. He would wrap up his stellar rookie year with the coveted Dali M Rookie of the Year award, being at the likes of Reese Walsh, Stefano Uto Ikemanu and Josh Schuster, a testament to the excellent season Walker had. Let's hope that Sam Walker's meteoric rise continues as we may be witnessing one of Rugby League's generational talents. I hope you enjoyed this look at Sam Walker's career so far. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the post notification bell as videos are going to be out every week for the foreseeable future. And as always, thank you for watching.